Fear to Fathom, episode 5. Woodbury Gateway, December 8. Need coffee to get done with the day. So we are finishing in the office. Oh, it's night. Nice view. Second. <laughs> Second horror game of the month. And I need to get my coffee. Let's go. I need a cup of coffee. I played the previous episode, number 4 It's in the channel in case any of you want to watch it As much as I wanted to leave, I needed a cup of coffee I didn't know that's to leave To be fair <laughs> Some potato chips Is this coffee? Open it Oh! But this is not coffee, unless it is in a bottle. There you go. Okay. Oh, coffee simulator. I need water. Something that I love from these games are the sound effects. sounds so good and usually nothing happens on the first hour I need to put on a lead where are the leads? these ones? zip let's wash through the window while we sip coffee what else can I do? Am I alone in the office? No, I knew I heard someone. <laughs> what do you want, Sid? I'm trying to get this done. I was just checking if you need anything. Sorry to bother you. Can these clients ever make up their minds? I know, people are tough to deal with. What did you hear so late again? Just finalizing the report, my guy. Like always. Need to use the restroom. Is this the restroom? Yes. Hey! Hey! Really? I could go there, through there. I need a vacation. That's, that's what this game about, right? A vacation? <laughs> With the door open. <laughs> Can I use... I had to put the toilet seat down. Okay. <laughs> right. Is there someone going to be like walking by? Actually, yeah. You almost gave me a heart attack. I'm so sorry. Should have known before I came in. But there isn't usually anyone in here this late. Yes, you should have knock. For sure. Again, I'm sorry. I usually do knock. But I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. Has to sleep in my mind. What has you frustrated? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on their... <laughs> <laughs> on the coffee fl on the floor all over the office it's been happening for weeks well yeah that's the that's me actually did someone raise you in the bar <laughs> there is a trash can all over the office act like an adult and use them okay sorry well i need to get back to it to it don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups have a good night and you stop scaring people Let's wash your hands before going out. That guy scared the hell out of me. 
<laughs> hey, don't leave me alone in the bathroom. I'm sorry. Can I pick up the the coffee cup? Oh, book the cabin. Hey, but I cannot throw it like actually inside. Oh, that's the closer I can get it. Someone is calling me. Hello. Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Hey, I've Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Yeah, my phone has been acting up lately. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> No, it even cut out a client earlier. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, You're too awkward, my guy. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Just more overtime. Damn, Harp, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. <laughs> hey, you see me? What's going on? I was going to do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey. Okay. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. Yeah, why not? You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Sounds good. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Oh, uh, Thank wait, you. one more thing. What? When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under a hundred dollars a night. Well, I usually try to keep it that way. Nora and I were talking and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Okay, sure, I'll find something affordable. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. I should really make the booking now. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. All right, talk to you later, Harp. Bye-bye. Let's book the team. Booking.com, booking that yeah. So we need something that is not expensive. Uh, this is the company. This is not for what we need. Browser. Um. <laughs> Again. Position. Similar. No. Oh, almost. <laughs> oh, this game is good. What is it? Oh my God, that's a good game. I would play this. Able. What else? Bring it to me! Bring it to me! Ooh, no, this is Or Did I win? Or is this an infinite? Oh! Oh! <laughs> he almost caught me. A score! What if I get a hundred? I get a hundred? Oh, 120. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> um, wood rent. Oh, it doesn't let me rent cabin.com. Okay, I was going to search wood cabin, but it just l put in the letters. Okay, that's too much. It looks nice. Could I book something that is expensive? 99. That looks good. Oh, two stars. 99. What if I book something expensive? Okay, over the budget. Right. And there is only one option, which is this one. 
It looks nice. Printing. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds if not thousands of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is writing weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expenses of my mental space. Peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the uh, cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave and be back on Monday. Mine, Mike came to pick me up. What else happened? Nah, he left me there. He left me there. <laughs> Two days later. So he picked me up and this is... No, he's gonna pick me up now. Oh my god, you're creepy. I forgot how creepy the characters in this game are. Afternoon. Why is she today? Ah. Yeah. I've seen you around, but haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. I'm Sydney. Nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on the 8th. How did you know? I've just seen you a few times getting off the 10th floor when I'm home late for work. What do you do for work? Hey, he? he? I'm a software engineer. What about you? I work at a consultant film uh, downtown. Oh, I see. Anyways, I hope you have a great espresso today. I need to get some groceries before the snow starts. You too. I forgot my Suska in the elevator feathers. No! Nice. Pulling on the garage. This is my friend. Hello, friend. <laughs> that, that was awkward. Does it see how you hug people? Why don't you hug me like you miss me? Uh, use a test hug to see if you smell first. Fair enough. To, for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is, top, is too good for Cindy Harper. Okay, Shoko. It's forcing me to get the hug. You look good. So do you, Mike. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get our, on our way. Okay. I already did throw my stuff in the back. Oh! I threw it away. <laughs> Alright, then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Uh, where's Nora? She met us there. Okay, the road through the city should have been a detour from here anyway. Is that in my house or in the game? 4.26 p.m. Oh, this is peaceful. And it's ra uh, raining, snowing. It was asserted to snow. This was actually a gift from my co-worker Ricky. Said he found it at a garage sale and it reminded him of me somehow. I can see a little bit of the resembles. It's the cowboy spirit, I guess. Music. Not much signal from here. Oh well, no music then. You are dead off your hotel too, from Hotel India. We couldn't wait to get out into the real world. Maybe we just didn't know how much the real world would 
you know. Sad sometimes. Yeah. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new world. Uh, speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? We're working on this project that uses machines. What? What was it? Did you see that? See what? There was a school bus. A school bus back there by the old house. Maybe it's a project. You know, someone's idea of turning this, uh, turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've heard people do that on the internet. I didn't find it weird to see that there. There could be a school close by, even if it is really far. <laughs> oh snap! That was close. You know, I read on the internet that in Native, Native American lore, seeing a deer across your path is like getting a message from the universe. But what type of message? You didn't tell me. How far it is now? Should be about an hour and a half before they're here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we are traveling through the interest galactic space. What do you mean? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars are on galaxies rushing past us. Did you drink something, my guy? Should I be worried? It's kind of uh, beautiful. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess, yeah. I do like how it looks, but did you drink something? <laughs> 5 14 p.m. We must be there. Yeah. I like little towns. They're so cozy. Yo, Harp, check that out. What out? Oh, a pizza place? We are going eating. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, this new GPS system hurts something else. This pizza is exactly where it appeared in my GPS. It's like living in the future. <laughs> I'm, so un I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Alright then, Harp, Operation Pizza Pit Stuff is a go. Prepare to launch. Let's get ourselves some pizza. Oh, it's just your drink. Mountain Brew Pure Red Cola Energy Boom. Oh, an energy drink? Is he going to give it to me? Oh, he gave it to me. Hey. in the trash Ooh, getting some money I know no, no. withdraw checking let's get some $80 please wait for your transaction I got some money on my. Oh, he's for this trash. Okay, cheese three dollar. Cheese three dollars. Oh my God! Thank you for waiting. Come on in, heart. Thank you. Thank you for waiting for me. This just in. Reports of a strong <laughs> snowstorm coming towards Woodbury today. Residents what are recommended to stay indoors and keep warm during What do we have the scenes for giving the news? Let's check the weather report. How's the weather out there, Phil? Oh, it's so oh, the same thing? I, I no, this was a, wasn't on the outside. How is the pizza? Well, my dear, you absolutely can go wrong with the pepperoni you hear in school. Every white reminds you of a story. So what brings you to Moles? You're passing through. You've made a good choice to stop it here. Thank you. Okay, I wanted to talk to this guy. Because he looks like he knows something. How are you doing, my friend? 
Not bad. And you? I'm as good as an I can be, my friend. Are you here for a pizza? No, just looking for a little help. Maybe I can help you. Maybe you can, but you um, go on and get some pizza first, huh? Maybe we'll catch you later. Oh, okay, I should have talked to him later. Okay, okay. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold got everyone craving some pizza tonight. You find folks know what you want to eat? We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, pizza, uh, cheese and veggie. And for you, miss? Oh. I like cheese one. I uh, want what's your second selection? Most special. The turn, cheese again. Any drink of your food? That should cover us. Use the pizza today, thanks. Alright then, six of slices coming right through. That'll be twenty two fifty. <gasps> oh, I pay. But that hurts. The order number is twenty seven. You grab a seat and we'll call you when your pizza is ready. Uh, okay, let's sit. Hey, hey! I was going to sit there. Long sniff. Are you getting sick? As it smells so good in here. Yeah, it does. Okay. Messages. Oh my god. Oh, oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is, one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. Okay, so maybe she's planning to leave us alone. I can see that coming. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'd be late. That's a bummer. I guess we have to start the talk without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. My guy. Not interested. I don't know how to tell you this. Not interested. Can I just stand up? Order room by 27. You folks are right here. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Oh my god. Alright, you folks. Uh, I'll say thank you, I guess. Oh, the special. It has pepperoni. Uh, Damn, this pizza slaps. Yeah, I guess. Can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb as pizza. I know, right? This is a special. Pepperoni and that mushroom. Tastes good. And I like the crest, so don't forget to use your crest. Hey there, my friend. Hello there. I saw you up pulling, driving that nice old truck. That's right. Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Seems like we may have been going the same direction. You won't mind if I, if I hitch a ride with you? Where are you headed? Just Heading where the roads take me. And a bit of an adventure. Just hiking the trails and seeing the country. I like that. So what do you say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that no road? Sure, you can come with us. Hold on a sec. Don't you think we need to discuss this first? <laughs> Is it that what we're doing? I'm not sure if, if we have an extra space for another passenger. Yeah, he's right. Only to sit in the truck. Sure, you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Well, I'll ride in the bed. Which will give you a ride, but there isn't any space. You gotta be cheating me, lady. No space? I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? Whoa. But with the attitude. 
I'm trying to give you the right. It wasn't me. It was my friend, my supposed friend, who was who is hitting on me. You aren't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. But I was trying to give you the right. Are you threatening us? No, no, no. You are going me are wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired. That's all. Okay. Are you serious? How are you gonna let a stranger ride with us in the middle of nowhere? He seems harmless. You really never know these days. For us, we know he could have been another Ted Bundy. Harm. But okay, that could be true. But it's two versus one. He will have to hit us at the same time for it to work. Unless. He has a group somewhere in the front, waiting for him. I don't know. Uh. Excuse me? Uh. Excuse me? <laughs> and he doesn't say anything. Okay. Are you ready to see the road? Maybe we can speed the worst of the snow. Give me the keys. Carp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive far of the, uh, of the way home? I'm going to drive so you don't can get a break. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me. <laughs> give me the keys so we can go home. Home uh, to the cabin. Fine, but there is one condition. What is it? I guess first choice of bedroom when, when or if we get there. Whatever. Take the keys. Let's get out. 5.49 p.m. Good evening, Vermont. This is your host on WKWB, <laughs> your hometown station, bringing you the best tunes to warm your hearts on this chilly night. As we can embrace I the can I bump it through another the car? <laughs> Harp, did you get your license so from a Fabio box? Right at home. <laughs> I'm sorry. All night, don't fight, man. I'm trying to be something from nothing. I get some memories, cause there is plenty of me lurking in the streets. But you're certain that your purpose is surplus to us and me. And you cannot pick up the phone, you cannot even write back. Good music. Because all we're living for, isn't that sad? But if it's where we're headed, I don't want to recollect it. Cover a moment, cause the loan is filling in directions. So hit me back and I'll send you some love. And then it's separate me, cause I just want to be your one. Like, real. I really don't know how to drive. I'm in a feeling different from some instances that fuck me up. I want to be the one that saves you, but I don't really blame you. If you want to be known, then I won't control you. my truck my legs fell asleep one second okay I knew I could I I, I, I knew the house it was a giant little house in quiet neighborhood 
We have a basement. I never like how this looks. Okay, let's get inside. Oh, I need to get my luggage. To, uh, let's just hurry up. Okay. Slice. Hold on B. <laughs> okay. Um, to interact. Okay. She sent me. Who sent me? Five one seven. Oh, six. Five. One. Seven. Six. Oh, finally. I was like, I was taking my sweet time with that one. Nice. We got the house. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right? But I really need to keep them shown. <laughs> Take your time, Mike. Well, I'm gone. Can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in there in the fridge. Sure. So the house is cozy, I agree. Let's put things on the fridge. I need to open it first. It's gonna fall. Eggs, stuff, milk. Are you gonna close it? Hey, I don't want the milk. There you go. Oh, he scared me. Hello, where? Whew, sorry about that, Harp. Are you okay? Long drive and all that pizza really did that not for me. No worries. Yeah, anyways, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. Yeah, it's cute. For sure. Hey, I really need to pee. I'll be back. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking my bags. Okay. Unpack. Woo. This is really huge, this place. Okay, so Mar this melon told me Pizza Hut really done a number of mine. <laughs> no, we're smelling it. Oh, nothing that we can do about it. Text Rick. Hi, we're checking. Flush and then we wash your hands. Where is he? Oh, there you go. You feeling better after the drive? Much better now. So, ready to check out the place? Sounds good to me. After you. Okay. He wants me to go up, I guess. You look creepy. Storage. <laughs> oh, hey, you're here. Oh my god, you scare me. Oopsie daisy. Oopsie daisy. I didn't mean to. Welcome to my home sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, 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 no. We're not a couple. Why, why are you looking at me like that? You didn't have to say it that hard, hard. <laughs> I was just answering the question. I'm sorry. He didn't ask a question, Sydney. He made a statement and you... Never mind. Oopsie daisy, silly me. Didn't mean to cause a stare with you two. We didn't expect anyone to be here. 
creepy old man. Uh, uh oh. I was out looking for my cat earlier. I don't remember the TV has been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again. So the last few folks left a bad word on it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, are you so mad? Speaking of that, now that you folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. I'll be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Okay. Hoss was a middle-aged man with a nervous energy. Right from the start, his presence made us uncomfortable. Oh, he has a creepy smile. Here's your shower. That seems make you feel like you're by bathing under a waterfall in the MSO jungle. Oh, that thing doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get the fix for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom right now. Okay. I think it's really cozy, this uh, upper place. Look, Herb. This room has a nice ass view. What? You think that's a nice, mister? Where did I show you the deck? We have a deck? Follow me now, please. Was that a... Was that a nice view? Are you coming, miss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. L let me wash myself. Mm. Oh, this is nice. You do the laundry and then you... Wait outside here. Holy smokes, this is incredible. Incredibly cold. Let's get in. Glad folks you like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view on the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing too. Alright folks, let's head back in before I get the cold here again. Ah, I wanted to trap him. What is this? Here's the storage room, okay? If you need anything, tools, extra blankets with a uh, one knot, uh, it's all in here. If the power even goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. No! He's telling me that the power is going to go down. A storm like this, you never know. Put me on, uh, thanks. All right, folks, let's head downstairs now. Nothing is strange. I think the most strange thing in this house is this man. <laughs> All right, folks, I'll see you already stuck up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for, for more cooling and down the cool of it. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The view gets out of control. And speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. Okay. We're getting a full tour. Oh, basement. Nice. We're well, gonna be here later. Still looking at me. Nothing to worry about down here. Use the water healer and some old storage stuff, really. If it ever stops working, just hit the button in the bottom. The, pi uh, the pile of light will fire right up and you'll be back in business. Okay. It's this. This bottom. Okay. Nice to know. Hey, Sarah, what's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you do need to concern yourself with. <laughs> he was too quick with that. I kinda use the basement as a storage. Renters don't need the space. They really gotta keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. I want to open it, kind of. What? I want to open it, kind of. What? Did I mention? Well, no, maybe I, sh I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well, told me this, his mother died down there. Is this a 
ghost story? Some guests have reported hearing voices at night, said they could hear something shuffling around down there. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. I, I could have lived without knowing that. And he, he, he laughed. The looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on now. I'm just joking. I don't know, man. I just want to get out of there. At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging at around 6 out of 10. Alright, folks. Snow is starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gonna find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. Bye bye. By the way, what was the name of the booking? I must be getting old. Is he, is he not the actual owner? And he is just a stranger? I'm Sydney. Ah, Sydney, that's right. Oh, he's not the owner. A pretty name for a pretty girl. Thank you, sir. Is it just me or that dude super weird? Very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there is anything around on TV. Actually, I'm going to take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you are in there. Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks, see you in a bit. You know, it, it has me creeped out, the music and the little sound effect, like bim bim, it had me really creep out. I just played another, another horror game that had jump scares, and that didn't creep me out as much as this one. I'm about to turn on the light of how creeped out I am. Let's take a shower. I was keen on taking a shower upstairs. Okay. Oh, and a battery. That's good to know it's there. Stop, stop with the music, please. Oh, this is the waterfall. I didn't need to use the towel, okay. Take a shower, I guess. I'm not stopping you. I guess I'm going down. Oh, are you going fishing? Hey Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shirt. Planning to catch dinner? Now that you're mentioning, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. Let's do it then. Hell yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed so we can both give it up shots. Okay, let's go fishing. Well, what's the lake? Do you want to grab the other fishing rod, Kirk? Yeah, just give me a second. What the sound? There it is. Need to start some bait to it. Oh snap, I saw a killer recipe for a baker. <laughs> Baked carb. We'll need to get three carbs though. You go up for the challenge? Yes. Well, first thing first, we need the right bait for carb. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you're ready, grab a carb bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carb. Harp. Okay, so what is the carb? So the cheese delight works well, apparently. It, that, that jumped. <laughs> okay, cheese. Why is it? Well, whatever. Come on, Harp. It's the. It's in this way. Okay, but I wanted to place the bait. Oh, 
a guitar. Ah, it's barely visible, but this is cute. Hope those carbs are biting today. Biting today. Okay, this is calm. RB to put on hook. Ah! It actually is a good one. Okay, okay. I'm gonna do better than the next one. With cute music, I don't, I don't trust. Why is it so difficult? Blue gear, throw away. Nice, nice. That was a hard one. Use another one more. Uh, another one. I use one more card left. You got this. Uh, what about you? Are you gonna catch one at least? I'm catching all the footage here. They're putting it fast, easy for me. There you go. They did it easy for me. All right, Harps. Looks like we got three cards. Do you want to head back and throw this in the oven for dinner? Maybe. Yeah, let's do it. Let's move. Let's go, please. Oh, throw away. Throw away. I'm heading back to the house. The music changed. That's not creepy at all. What is this? Come on. Well, I'm cleaning the fish. Do you need, uh, do you mind preparing the marinade? Sure. Just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian season, and paprika and sugar. Um, I'm sorry. What? Okay, so this is a bowl. Oh, it gave me the, the thingy. So, pepper. Salt is this. Cornflakes? No. Oh, Italian seasoning. Ginger. Paprika. I love putting paprika in my food. Oh. I'm missing something. So, I'm guessing this is the yogurt. It was not on the fridge. Hey, hey! Oh my god. This guy is not giving me any chances. Do you mind throwing the piece of the marinade in the casserole when I chop this in veggies? Okay. So, let's throw that there. Let's get the fish. One. Two. Uh, I don't need the third one because it's just the two of us. Marinade. How could you add the veggies? Now, oh, now could you add the veggies? Okay. I read it. Uh, I read it needs to go for thirty minutes at four hundred. Okay, veggies. At least it's cooking. Uh, cutting the thingy. Uh, I didn't put any number. Those carbs are going to taste amazing. 
Well, we wait for it to go. How about we play some board games? I saw some in the room, next to the living room. I guess we could. Just grab whatever catch your eye. Can, uh, can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room, next to the living room. Okay. Let me see. I miss puzzles. Where are they? Oh, this. We, <laughs> we have. Okay. A uh, chess. That's a good one. Monopoly. But with cats. This is the one. Close. Here you go. That's a classic, but how about we go for something with a bit of mystery? If you wanted to play the Ouija, you just have to tell you have to tell me. Don't make me take whatever I want. My hands are full. Never do that, folks. Never do that. I can't stand her spirit for bullshit. I have respect for those things. I won't say if I believe it or not. I just say I wouldn't try it. Hey, remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we try this down there? Oh my god, that's a great idea to get us killed. Alright, let's go. I yeah, why not? Watch out for spiders. Uh, you know what? Spiders give me more the creep than this game. At least he is a man and takes the heavy stuff. You know what will make this even spookier? What? Taking the lights out? Let's turn off all these lights and see if this thing really works. lady first and you want to hit on me are there any spirits who want to talk to us what what it shouldn't be the two hands and the what is it F yes fuck you Whisper. No way, are you, are you holding this? Okay, I got one too. Okay, what was what is your question? How's the afterlife treating your body? Hey, be respectful. Mm, M R no M J I don't understand E Are you friendly? A G A E A My turn Come on buddy give us a sign let us know you're here Here's the thing I don't I cannot read the letters he's like pointing out and I cannot make the words out so I don't know what's happening here Oh, 
Holy crap! What the heck, Mike? Mike, you leave me behind! You leave me behind, you motherfucker! <laughs> there is some freaky shit going on down there, car. That was weird. The weird part is that you did to me. What the hell, Harp? I figured you would move your ass too. Would have been nice if you had checked. Have you ever heard of a fight or flight? Sydney, I'm sorry, okay? Whatever. Let's get to eat food. show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Sure. Let's mm. just eat. He's not gonna turn on the TV. Really. Mm. Asparagus chocolate and he starts eating with the spoonful of mayonnaise. Oh my god. This delicacy is very popular in Romania. The chocolate. I'm done with it. Take a couple. Carm, that was some good and fine food. Uh, Twice as good yes, as we cut the fish ourselves. He was really good. We make a great team, Hor. Hey, anyways, I need to check my emails real quick. Let my laptop upstairs. I thought we were taking a break from work. It's not work. I'm just uh, waiting on shipment details for my new DS. I'll be right back. All right, I'll clean up here. But here you are, anyway, listening to my cooking instructions. This is the Let's clean the dishes the so we can. We got to inject it with a little anesthesia to make sure it doesn't revolt against us. It gets Keep very going. angry. Michael G. Carter. I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? He's he's willing to sacrifice me. I am dead for it. He's going to scare me, right? Walk slow. That's gonna scare me. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> gotcha. What the hell, Mike? I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? It's not cool. I didn't get that scared, though, because I was expecting it. Come on, it was just a joke. You gonna go for the next round? Really? How about a game of hide and seek? I'll get back to you for this. Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. Alright, you're on. I'll come to 10. Okay. Where can I hide? Basin. Not funny. Not funny that I have to hide in the basin. And they taste very What is the basin, by the way? Now that this is cooking, we can check. Under the stairs? I figured you'd be a boot at this since I never find you in the city. 
Maybe you need to look look harder. All right, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. Okay, I close my eyes. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here we go. I'm coming. Closer. Not there. Not there. Will he be outside? Could he be in here? No! I almost expect him. What is that sound? Oh, a car. Okay, let's go upstairs then. Oh, found you. Gotcha. Hang on, Sharp. I think I heard something upstairs. Upstairs? Fool me once, same on you. Fool me twice. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something lighting up right there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I swear on my life I heard something. I see this attic uh, access door in, the, in there. So there is an attic. Did you trap me inside? So I need some stairs? Oh, this. like this place oh, much better so some paintings a cat oh that's so cute is that all Just a cut, pussy. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried here for a minute. Yeah, you, you know, you could have got yourself. You could have saved me, be a man for once, not not throwing the girl you're supposed to be like interested in up along, but you did it. I think she was hungry. All right, I think it was for uh, your turn. I don't want to hide anymore. In the backyard, I decide to hide in the tool shed. I guess up, right? No? Anything worth doing is worth doing well. 
My turn. Ghosts are pretty, I know. I'm getting tired. Look, I hide in the house where uh, we're heading back anyways. You'll find me and we'll go to bed. Okay. Space to close your eyes. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Ten Mississippi. Just jump it out. Ready or not, here I come. Is he up there? Why is it open? Did I leave it open? Wait, why is the do front door open? Did I leave this door open? <laughs> Oh, he's here. <laughs> Why did you scream? <laughs> what did you scream like? What's going on? What happened? Well, he, uh, well, hey there. Why the hell are you key in here again? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have taught us. He's, this is my house. I don't need to check in uh, with you every time I fix something. I never, I never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You've ever fixed any faucets your, uh, yourself, young man? Didn't think so. So I imagine you don't know what tools you need. How long have you been here? Just got here a couple of minutes ago. If you heard anything before that, it must have been the old lady. Remember. <laughs> Look, we need to go to bed now. You asking me to leave, miss? Hear me out. You are renting the space. It is bad manners for you to rent a place where paying you money and you not letting us sleep well. <laughs> it's your house, yeah, but they don't rent it. No, Rick. She's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I, we don't really want it. To have to call law enforcement. Mike, let me handle this, please. I don't know cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're going to arrest some the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can handle that, oh, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave. I'll leave you to it. Okay. I guess we're going to sleep. After looking after locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attribute his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy yourself, Mike said. But by this time, I was, really, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. 11.39 p.m. Oh my god. Let me sleep. Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone is knocking in the door. Do you miss, uh, do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure. I think. The storm is starting to get uh, really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora is okay. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. Okay. Hey, it's no problem at all. Those guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> what are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. I know, right? Why did he move the head so weirdly? Can you believe that guy? He just kept wandering around the house like he owned the place. 
He does own the place. You know exactly what I mean, Sydney. He shouldn't just uh, barge in the place whenever he wants. He we rented the damn house. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. Me too. I really need to sleep now, Mike. Just can you please go? Why don't you come sit by me? By me? This guy is creepier than the than the owner. <laughs> Harp, you know, I miss this us just ta talking. It's been too long. You know, you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Mike, where is this coming from? Mike. <laughs> Mike? You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I do remember it. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start awkward though. Mike, Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. SOS. Uh, Oh Mike, I don't know about what to say. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You just let me wo uh, worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good time. As I, always, what I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it's a Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> oh, no I ask, but can you two come get me? Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's go get you. What a timing, huh? But I guess we can leave Norris this round Let me get a dress and I'll meet you downstairs. No, Sydney, just stay here and get some sleep. No, don't, 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 don't leave me alone. There's no sense in, in both of us freezing our asses up. He's abandoning me alone in the woods, in a wood cabin, where the crazy owner has a sense of... Oh my god, that's really nice, Mike. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in your pyjamas and I'm still dressed. You just set it in and I'll go and help Nora. That's really nice. I always like doing nice things for you, Timmy. Okay. Just... Just go, I guess. Let me think for myself. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. If you really feel like we have to. Locking the front door. Oh, I need to go down. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm going uh, and gone? Yeah, I think I'll rest for that. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, right? Lock out the door. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case, we're asleep when I get back. I get that I cannot need one now. No, now, Mike. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, uh, Sydney. Can I? Let's let's go to sleep. I'm gonna wake up at, at, at whatever I am, right? I told myself things will get better if I ju I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it so, uh, more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meanwhile. 12.39 a.m. Of course, of course. Yeah, 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 I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. 
Oh, he was here. Hello. I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. I'm freezing to death out here. Exit. Who is it? Oh, it's the hiker. Hello. Look, friend, I know it isn't the idea uh, banking on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was camping on the right from some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two or more hours. You can sit on the porch while you wait. Thanks, but I was hoping you would let me wait inside until my friends get here to get me. <laughs> You're not coming in, end of the story. Are you fucking kidding me? Come down! They're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be as big as a bitch here as you were back in the pizza room. He knows who I am. He knows I was here. What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend free fishing in the creek earlier? I figure maybe you'll give me a chance this time, but looks like you're still unkind. Get out, or I'll call the cops. But there are no cops. Why would I say that? Please, just leave, or I'll call the cops. Okay. There are no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't ha see your fella truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 right now. Fine. Sweet yourself. Where is the... Where is the phone? But let me tell you something. You get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. The man at the door seems irrelevant compared to how tired I was. Okay, so I go to sleep again? With a man outside? Oh, he opened the door. What's going on? gonna hear me <laughs> what the hell what <laughs> did he enter the house do I need to go down God, yes, message him. But there's low cover. Oh, low signal up here. Open the door. Thanks, God. What the hell's going on here? Oh, thanks, God, you're here. <laughs> Explain the situation, see, please. <laughs> yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Why? <laughs> I still... By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. Mike? He went to pick uh, up our other friend. <laughs> huh. So you're all along here right now, huh? Yep, but my friends will be back soon. Why is he looking everywhere? Why is he looking everywhere? Mm. 
And stuff like this bring out all kind of folks. Not all of them know when to say stay away. Okay. Okay. I live in Burlington. I haven't seen... Oh. Hello. Everything okay, miss? He's not the owner. Yeah. Awful uh, late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? He's my friends. They are almost here. Is that so? Yeah. Thanks for coming by, though. You can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around, make sure everything is really okay. You're not Rick, are you? Um, what did you say? Confront. Why do you confront the guy? Why? We know it's not the owner. Why? I'm freaking out. <laughs> This is my fucking house. I will leave when I want to. Get out of here before I cut. There's no cops. What do you want? I want what's mine. This house. A me? You're trespassing. Get out of here before I cut the cops. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. Mm. Okay. okay, he killed me. So, uh, makes sense, makes sense, but <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Maybe I need to run uh, through the back because it's like, oh my god, I'm so dumb. What could have I done? Wang is running upstairs, but I don't think... I think he's gonna catch me. One, the other one is getting out through the back door. But I think he's gonna come, cut me there too, right? Oh, he took me anyway. Oh, he got me. Okay. Okay, so the back was barricaded. The front was locked. So my only option was to go upstairs, hide again, and then what? One eternity later. We need to go up. I know where to hide.
I think he left. The fuck? <laughs> Where do I have to go? <laughs> what? I thought he left. Where else do I have to go? Okay, so I searched for some clues and I thought about doing this, but I didn't do it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so I thought about going to the attic, but thought it wasn't possible. But when I searched for the clue, it's something here. So, hello kitty. Are you right? You got to done talking to the other guests on the phone. I've called 911, but there's no police here, is it? Can I give you some food? Ah, the fish, I could have given to him. Oh. Let's go. It's not letting me go walk faster. Ooh. This scared me. <laughs> okay, I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm has quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On our, drive uh, on our drive back, the whole night placed over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used. And planned on robbing us during our stay. But cop seems to think there was more intent behind this man's actions, aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me about that man. Oh, Rick asked me what the man looked like, and after that, he, uh, after that, he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end, he gave us a full refund. That's nice. I mean, it was like a really pleasant experience. <laughs> so, I would expect a refund. <laughs> okay, they, it was a good game. It got me, but the thing is, it got me scared because of the jump scares. Not because of like, <laughs> actual horror. Anyways, I like the game. See you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>